Hey folks, it's Syme here, and I'm just in the studio today, and I was sitting around tinkering and, and working on projects, and I was thinking, and when I think, I like to talk. So this is going to be very impromptu and hopefully very brief, but I want to share something that was on my mind because I was thinking, working for a new workshop I'm working on, and I was thinking about the nature of light. And, and light is fascinating in the deepest extent because it's the medium we work with, but I think we're looking at light oftentimes the wrong way. We're looking at light in terms of strobes or sun or sunset or what's happening. And it's important to know those things. The science of light and understanding light, that should be automatic. It should be innate in us. We should have studied our craft and understand the science of light to a degree that we truly do understand light and exposure and tone. And I talk about this a great deal in my workshops like Exposed and things like that. It's absolutely critical that you understand the nature of light and tone values and composition and, and all those things that I hit on all the time. But what about the, the, more, the more abstract of light? And that is that light is liquid. Light is, light is something that we take and we apply to an image like paint. And we, we tend to look at light too rigidly. We look at it statically. We look at it as, well, there's the light, and we feel intimidated by the light. Photographers, as I've, I've said a lot lately, are inherently terrified in some way of light. It always seems to be the case. But how do we look differently at light? And if you look around you, if you look at light as liquid. If you look at light as paint that you're spreading on a surface, you start to fundamentally change how you feel about light. To do this well, you have to understand light. I'm not talking about willy-nilly and saying, well, let's just take photos and not worry about the light and, and not care if the light's good, but we'll call it good. I'm not talking about that kind of photography. This, this isn't Instagram. Okay, I'm talking about going in with an understanding of light and the science and the mechanics of light, being comfortable with the nature of light, that sometimes nature gives you light a certain way, sometimes you can augment light a certain way, and sometimes you're not in control of the light source. Okay, number one, we're not always in control of the light source. Sometimes we're in control of the subject, but not always, and then we have to consider what the light source is doing in relation to the subject and how we can utilize, manipulate, or adjust, or wait, okay? And this is something I talk about it with light where we either, we either make it, we take it, or we wait for it. And so we can take it as it is, we can make it, we can wait for it to be right, but in a sense the light is still fluid regardless of the nature of the subject, or the light that we're working with, it's fluid in that if we understand what that light is doing, if we understand the direction that the light, that the paint is flowing, we can then manipulate the flow. We can block it up here, and we can lighten it there, and we can darken it here, and we can think about, all right, what's the light doing around me? What am I trying to achieve? Now you're coming to the visualization, like Ansel always talks about. Think about this. You're thinking about light in a fluid sense. So you have light, what do I want to accomplish? What's my visualization in my mind's eye? Here's my subject. Here's the light I'm working with. Now what do I need to do? Where do I need to move the subject? What is the light bouncing off of? What direction is the light coming from? What's the light doing in relation to what I want to produce and build a roadmap in our mind to get to the source? Sometimes that map will involve adjusting the plan or augmenting the light or exposing differently or, or moving somewhere where the light is reflecting in a certain way. Guys, the light is always there. Light is all around us all the time in either minuscule forms or in bold forms. And there's always some way that we can control that flow. Our film, our sensor, is a medium and we're controlling the flow of liquid light. I'm getting a little metaphorical there, but really it is. We're controlling the pouring of that light onto a film or sensor to give us the result we want. We're constantly looking at light as if it controls us. We don't admit it. But in reality, everything we're doing is 
being intimidated by light in many situations, not always, when in reality, we should be, as photographers, as image makers, we are the painters of light. Our job is to be the masters of light. So three things. To understand light at an innate level, we have to understand how light works in relation to the images we're making. This means you must understand exposure and stops and the mathematics and the values and the tones. You should know zones. This stuff may sound complicated, but this is the simple stuff. This is the stuff that you can sit down and experiment for a week and study or do a workshop like Exposed, you know, watch that or just get into the mechanics of it. People run from the mechanics and the mathematics and the science of light. And it's so inherently beautiful and simple. And once you understand that, now you move on to the practical use, the flow of light, and how you're going to apply it by taking the light that's there, the subject, the visualization, combining all the aspects of how you can utilize or control, how you can take, make, or wait for that light and plan your image in such a way that you are ultimately directing the flow of light on to the image to get the visualization and the result that you want to bring the character and the life to the image. And once you truly understand that light, you can take the character or the personality of a person or a place or a thing and you can convey that with the subtlety that makes it a truly great image and apply the artistic value that's in here, that's in your visualization. But until you can understand the nature of light and be comfortable with the nature of light, until light becomes your friend and you know how to work it, you're shooting in the dark. Just something to think about. Take care.